Hey YouTube land, welcome to my YouTube channel. Well today, check out what's behind me. Nothing! Farmer's fields! That's right, and that's where I'm going to fly the X-Dynamics Evolve to check out what is the average range you would get on this thing. So it's early morning, I'm out in my area, wherever you live you're going to get a different range, and I'm going to try it out down here. So I have it down over in the grass, and we're going to go start her up and get her going. There's the X-Dynamics Evolve, and if you look behind it, it's like I'm out in the jungle because I had to pick a location where there's no human beings around. Because when you're doing range tests, you have to be kind of responsible, because if anything goes wrong, and that drone is going someplace else you want to make sure nobody's around all right let's try this now like with any drone all your flight data is recorded so let me see if I can get this so there's not a glare on the screen here but over here hopefully you can see that it says the farthest I've ever flown is 730 meters and the fastest I ever flew was 67 point some odd kilometers per hour all right everything's a-okay on my controller here it says the drone is all good ready to go and let's get it going here we go and take it up. All right, sun's over there, super bright. Drones up there, forward. Here we go, full speed. Now I'm in full. I'm in full speed camera filming mode. Shows me my distance on my screen. I'll hold this up so I have lots of communication. I'm at uh, 60 meters, 70 meters, 80, 90, 105 meters. This thing is ready to go at least a kilometer. So half a kilometer would be 500 meters. Let's see. I'm at uh, 200 meters. No issues. Three hundred meters. Four hundred meters. Let's see if we can get to half a kilometer. Can we get to five hundred meters? There we go, five hundred meters. I will put the conversion from meters to feet below so you can see how far this is going. I can see my little map below. Looks pretty good. And I'm coming up to six hundred meters. Oh, I'm getting a yellow signal on my range. It says. Now you are getting into the range that we're sort of getting into the farther end. Oh, interesting. My display changes to a yellow range. Coming up to 700 meters. Farthest I ever got was 730, 724, 734. Well, I surpassed my farthest, 752, 771, 780, 799. Oh, it says red. Now I'm in the red range, 827 meters. 855 meters and that sound might be we don't go anywhere nope <laughs> I think that's it 896 meters it says 903 meters what is it saying it's saying going in and out of connection let's see if I can get it up to a thousand 910 meters return to home if I squint my eyes really hard I could just see the dot away out in the sky I could actually see it because it's so freaking large. In Canada, we have regulations on flying a drone. You're not allowed to fly them farther than you can see them, but I can literally see the dot in the sky of this massive drone. So now we'll wait for it to come back to me. Now I've flown this drone before and by the time it comes back, well right now, oh, it's not bad. Look at that, I'm actually getting reception. Yeah, I can actually see the return to home. Normally when I've flown this before a few times, I couldn't see the video feed. Oh, there it is. It's in and out as it's coming back. No, it's back on now. It's coming at full speed. I can see the black dot in the sky. I don't know. My GoPro probably can't pick it up. There's a black dot away out there. So there you go, people of the world. If you're wondering how far can this X-Dynamics Evolve go? Well, for me, it went 910 meters. I'll see when it comes back. If it went any farther, it's going to show me actually on the telemetry. When I bring it back, there it is coming. It's I think it comes back in high speed mode because man, that's fast coming back. There we go. And I got the sun shining in my eyes here. I'll bring the camera down and look down at me as it's spinning around. It should come nowhere near the landing pad. 
Uh, there's the landing pad right there. There I am. That's oh, pretty close. Bring it down. It would have been pretty close to the landing pad. There it is. I'll bring it over. This thing blows too much wind. All right, let's just plop it down there. Look at everything flying all over the place. <laughs> let's just bring it down. There we go. That's called a fast landing. Flight time, it says I flew for five minutes and 32 seconds. It says you have 13 minutes left of flight time. Okay, there we go. So now I have the official confirmation. 932 meters is the farthest I could get it out there. 932. And if I tried again, you know, if I try again, I might get a thousand meters. If I try again, I might get 700 meters. It just depends on the interference and what's actually happening in my area at the moment. And after that flight, if you look right here, get these props away from my head <laughs> in case they turn on. You can see the battery power is at 74%. That's remaining battery power after that uh, five minute and some odd second uh, flight. So there you have it. There's the range I get on my X-Dynamics Evolve. I live in Canada. In Canada, our regulations state that you must keep the drone in sight at all times. So a drone this size, I can fly it much farther than a Mavic. A Mavic, I won't see it at that distance, but I can see this at that distance. So, you know, the X-Dynamics Evolve has its place in my catalog of drones, and by God, do I have a lot of drones. So I do have some love for the X-Dynamics Evolve. I love the camera. I love the way it flies. You know, it's not a bad drone overall. If you're somebody who wants something with 27,000 sensors and you want it to go 200 million miles and you want it to be as small as something that fits in your pocket, you're probably looking at DJI and not the X-Dynamics Evolve. But if you're like me and you like all types of drones, eh, you'll like the X-Dynamics Evolve. All right, I'm gonna put links below to where you can find this drone only because there's much more information on the website than I can pass on. And uh, thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Oh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.